Hello and welcome to a complete breakdown to a budget trip to Paris. I came to Paris from Brussels via train which costed me 55 euros. You can check online options for trains and also check the bus options because they cost almost one third of the price for the train. Now since I was traveling in the night and I was already very tired so I spent some money on Uber to my hostel. Google map works amazing in Europe so I always use Google map to explore the best, cheapest and fastest modes of transportation. You can choose any hostel which fits your budget and your locality from any website. I booked the hostel from booking.com. The view from my hostel room was amazing. It was beautiful to see the Eiffel Tower glitter in the night. So day one in Paris, like any other tourist, I went to see first the Eiffel Tower. You can also go to the top of the tower by paying 30 euros, but you need to make the bookings well in advance. Also budget travelers like me can enjoy the view from the ground. I'm going to tell you the best places to get clicked with the Eiffel. The first one is a very common one which is from the stairs above the fountain gardens. The second one is on the footpath which is adjacent to the bridge leading to the fountain gardens. And the third one is my favorite. Right beside the footpath there are stairs which go down and take you to this place. It's an isolated private picture perfect location with the Eiffel. If you know of any other good locations, do let me know in the comment section. And like you can see, it is one of the most loved locations for wedding photo shoots. The options of doing things in Paris are countless. If you have enough time and money, you will never ever fall short of exciting options here. I have heard a lot about the cabaret shows of Paris, so do check it out whenever you are there. People say it's worth the money. Moving on to the next stop for the day, the palace and the gardens of Versailles. This was a trip for Rs 5,500 which included bus tickets and guided tour. So one of the best deals you can get. So if you came in a guided tour like me, make sure to note down your bus number because the buses are parked in a common parking area and all the buses look the same. The palace is huge and beautiful. I suggest you definitely take the guided tour else you would miss out on so much of information on the history of the place. The gardens of Versailles are another masterpiece. They have musical fountain shows there every 30 minutes, which is a breathtaking view.
Well, Paris rains can be a spoil sport, but they don't last real long, so just be patient when they arrive. Day 2 in Paris was to acknowledge the largest museum in the world, the Louvre. You can get the guided tour for 70 euros of the Louvre, but budget travelers like me can get the entry ticket for 20 euros and explore different sections using the map they provide at the reception. Moving on next, you would definitely not want to miss the most prestigious street in France, Champs-Élysées. The Louis Vuitton store is definitely an experience, do check it out. When you walk down straight from Champs-Élysées, you will reach Arc de Triomphe, which is India Gate of France, dedicated to the people who lost their lives for the country. And with this amazing dinner, my Paris trip came to an end. And like always, I was running late and took an Uber to the train station from my hostel. I went to Zurich from Paris, so see you next week in Switzerland. For watching this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel till then take care and see you in the next video